I have two announcements to make for those opting for the new tax regime. First, the standard deduction for salaried employees is proposed to be increased from 50,000 to 75,000 rupees. Similarly, deduction on family pension for pensioners is proposed to be enhanced from 15,000 to 25,000 rupees. This will provide relief to about 4 crore salaried individuals and pensioners. Second, in the new tax regime, the tax rate structure is proposed to be revised as follows. 0 to 3 lakh rupees, nil. 3 to 7 lakh rupees, 5%. 7 to 10 lakh rupees, 10%. 10 to 12 lakh rupees, 15%. 12 to 15 lakh rupees, 20%. And above 15 lakh rupees, 30%. As a result of these changes, a salaried employee in the new tax regime stands to save up to 17,500 rupees in income tax. Capital gains taxation is also proposed to be hugely simplified. Short-term gains on certain financial assets shall henceforth attract a tax rate of 20%, while that on all other financial assets and all non-financial assets shall continue to attract the applicable tax rate. Long-term gains on all financial and non-financial assets, on the other hand, will attract a tax rate of 12.5%. For the benefit of the lower and the middle income classes, I propose, the, I propose to increase the limit of exemption of capital gains on certain financial assets to 1.25 lakh rupees per year. Our government will implement following three schemes for employment-linked incentive as part of the Prime Minister's package. These will be based on enrollment in the EPFO and focus on recognition of first-time employees and support to employees and employers. Scheme A, first-timers. This scheme will provide one month wage to all persons newly entering the workforce in all formal sectors. Direct benefit transfer of one month's salary in three installments to first-time employees as registered in the EPFO will be up to 15,000 rupees. The eligibility limit will be a salary of one lakh per month. The scheme is expected to benefit 210 lakh youths. Scheme B, job creation in manufacturing. This scheme will incentivize additional employment in the manufacturing sector linked to the employment of first-time employees. An incentive will be provided at specified scale directly both to the employee and the employer with respect to the EPFO contribution in the first four years of employment. The scheme is expected to benefit 30 lakh youth entering employment and their employers. Scheme C, support to employers. This employer-focused scheme will cover additional employment in all sectors. All additional employment within a salary of 1 lakh rupee per month will be counted. The government will reimburse to employers up to 3,000 rupees per month for two years 
towards the EPFO contribution for each additional employee. The scheme is expected to incentivize additional employment of 50 lakh persons. New airports, medical colleges and sports infrastructure in Bihar will be constructed. An additional allocation to support capital investments will be provided. The requests of Bihar government for external assistance from multilateral development banks will be expedited. Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. Our government has made concerted efforts to fulfill the commitments in Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. Reorg recognizing, recognizing the state's need for the capital, recognizing, a, recognizing the state's need for a capital, we will facilitate fi special financial support through multilateral development agencies. In the current financial year, 15,000 crore rupees will be arranged with additional amounts in future years. Our government is fully committed to financing and early completion of the Polavaram irrigation project, which is the lifeline which is the lifeline for Andhra Pradesh and its farmers. This will facilitate our country's food security as well. With a three-fold increase in domestic production and almost a hundred-fold jump in exports of mobile phones over the last six years, the Indian mobile industry has matured. In the interest of consumers, I now propose to reduce the BCD on mobile phone, mobile PCBA, and mobile charger to 15%. Critical minerals to enhance domestic value addition in gold and precious metal jewelry in the country, I propose to reduce customs duties on gold and silver to 6% and that of platinum to 6.4%.